been unreal. Um, we're about to start a new album cycle, so it, everything's feeling really fresh for us. Like, there's a lot of work going on behind the scenes, but the shows have been so good that, I don't know, it kind of makes up for anything that's kind of in the back of your mind. There's a couple of bands um, that I've come across that I've actually become a great big fan of. Uh, Stick to Your Guns are one of them. Um, they play on our stage and I'd always heard the name before but never the music. And uh, What really pulled me in was sort of the message and, and the stuff that Jesse says on stage. I just think it's so powerful and it's something that I've always been inspired by is sort of uh, hardcore and metal front men. My average day sort of consists of someone telling me you've got to be somewhere in half an hour to an hour and I'm like, oh, far out, I'm going to get up. So I get up, I get ready. Um, it's usually a signing to start the day. We do a non-profit signing like catering. You pretty much have to dedicate an hour to because the lines are so long. Uh, we do a meet and greet at our tent, which is um, for people that want to pre-order the new record. Obviously we play and if you want to check out bands in between, it's sort of up to you if you can squeeze it in. My probably favourite memory from the war tour this year, uh, you know, even though the shows have been incredible, I actually had a really good night a couple of nights ago. We, we all went out to a country bar in Florida, which is kind of red, but um, felt like we were in Texas. And um, there was line dancing. So uh, we all had drink in hand and we were line dancing all night, which I've never thought I would enjoy so much, but I will never forget that night. <laughs>